Hello everybody, my name is Katemo, welcome back for another video of NHL 19 Franchise Mode. We're going to continue this series. Uh, right now we are in the playoffs of the fifth year. If you guys missed the last video, make sure to go ahead and watch it before this one. It was the entire season that we basically simulated. I finally managed to do one video when I where I can finally simulate an entire season, you know. I made it very quick though, and we didn't make too many trades, I don't think... We f I think we made one or two trades, but minor trades or something. Actually, maybe a, mi a, mi a major trade because we did trade one of our big prospects. Let's go. I know. I believe in you guys. We've got the defense. They've got the offense. Uh, we got to find a way to stop somehow all these 89 and 91, 90 plus players that they've got on their team. And we got to find our, our way past their goal and their two. Which he is, of course, Elliot Buck, uh, a 91 overall. So we gotta find a way, guys. We gotta find something. We got 12 shots. There we go. There's the first goal of the game by us, by Kucherov on the first line, which is a really good. Now, of course, I'm putting this. I'm looking at who is playing. So it's the first line again. Our first line is working right now. Oh, we got a penalty kill. We got a penalty kill. We we killed it. That's really good. So Victor Ras scored one on them. Really good. Seems like our depth in our defense wise is shutting them down. They're, we're not giving them too many shots, which is really good. Victor Rask, once again, another goal, guys. Which puts us with three goals advantage. I think we got this in the bag on this. Grubauer, I mean, he's only 83 overall, so we can't really say anything. But yeah, we definitely got this in the bag, guys. Definitely. Yeah, there we go. So we managed to win the first game. Uh, we can say thank you for the first line. The first line is the only one that produced in that one. Ko uh, Kucherov with one goal and Rask with two goals. Let's just simulate the day. See we're going to face in the second round, guys. So at least I'm happy. We, we already did much better than last year. That's a good thing. Now St. Louis. This is the team that defeated us, I believe, last year, guys. is the team that um, eliminated us. So we got to be careful about them. This is going to be rough. Can we get past the Blues, guys? If we can't get past the Blues, I think we can get past any other team afterwards. But th this team is going to be rough. It's going to be rough, too. We're basically the same team. Oh, we're taking a penalty already. That's not good. That's going to give them a momentum. Come on, guys. So we're basically the same team. When you think about it, we've got the same depth offensively. The same type of players. We also got this, the same amount of defense. I, I'd say we got... One defenseman that's better than them overall, and we've got the best, uh, the, the same goaltenders. So it's it's kind of the same team, except they played better than us in the regular season. So I don't know what to think about this. All right, come on, there we go. Ov uh, scoring in the power play, another power play for us. This is our time, guys. Oh my God, we got three power plays. We only managed to score on one of these three, guys. There we go, Lume on the fourth line, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Scoring for us. That's going to give an advantage of two goals coming into the third period. Ovi clutching, off, uh, clutching us for us basically in the, te in the third, second line for the power play. Now Tarasenko and Petriangelo just like that came back because we took a penalty. Stupid penalty. And Stepan's going to break our dreams. Alright, well, we're not going to make it uh, any further, guys. Unless we can... Score! Oh, what? Hold on now. No, 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 no. What is that? We were on a power play. We get scored on the power play, but by Stepan as well. Oh, we they even put our goaltenders up. Now Redden is playing on the and oh for Christ's sake, what? So Grabar gives up three goals. The the coach decides that oh Grabar is playing like shit. Let's not give him any confidence. Let's just get rid of him completely. Are you serious? This is a playoff. This is not the time to do it. He just gets rid of Grabar. He takes Redden in there. Unexperienced goaltender for the playoffs. Gives him the position of being down by one goal. And look at what happens. He gives another goal. In goddamn over. Uh, oh, I can't. I can't guys. We're eliminated, that's for sure. We can already tell we're eliminated. We were winning by two game goals. What the hell? And there's Thomas in the... Sh oh, fuck off game. Oh, I hate this game, guys. 
We're never gonna make the... We're never gonna win the cup. It's never gonna happen. If we keep facing off against goddamn the St. Louis Blues who have our... Our heads, they... We can't beat these guys. We just can't. If we lost 5-2, to two, well, we were winning. We gave up basically 5 goals in one period. That's what happened. That's ridiculous. I can't believe that bullshit just happened, guys. What kind of bullshit is this? Honestly. Why did they give up? Why did the coach just give up on Grabara like that? Honestly. And why did the Grabara even give three goals away? Tarasenko and Petriangelo fine. Then Stepan just afterwards, right afterwards. No time to to even breathe. Like, come on, just give us a chance. Bad penalty, what causes, guys? We had plenty of power plays too that we could have dealt with. We only scored on one, one out of four or five power plays, guys, in that game, which hurt us big time. Uh, the Avalanche managed to win the cup, I guess. For Christ's sake, I, I just hate this game. I love it and I hate it at the same time. It's, it's annoying, really. All I want to do, I just want to win one time the goddamn Stanley Cup. I can't do it because the goddamn St. Louis Blues, they're too rough. We all we always have to pass on them. We made it further than the first round at least. For Christ's sake. What am I supposed to do every year? I just bring up better and better player. Heck, it doesn't change anything. It doesn't do anything. Alright, so... I don't see us anywhere. St. Jose looks like it's going to be the first overall draft pick. You retired players, guys. I just... I can't anymore, man. I just can't. Uh, Joe Thornton. Uh, well, he eliminated us, but... Didn't make it to the, fin uh, the finals, so... Thornton, 1,641 points. Managed to do that in his career. He took his retirement. We've got Corey Perry as well. So two legends right there taking their retirements. We've got Miku Koivu and all this, these great players right here. Defense-wise, do we have anybody? We do have three legends in total. Buffalgun, Yendol, and Fenuff. There we go, Buffalo getting a lot of points right there. Edler, Goligowski, two uh, memorable players as well. There we go, Vlasic, kind of disappointing. He finished up with the, Canadi the Canadians, which is pretty interesting. That's cool for him. Uh, the goalie-wise, goalie-wise, do we have anything? Oh, we have a lot of, uh, lot of legends this year. 601 win for Luongo. Finished his career with that. Probably finish his career, guys, as second goaltender, best goaltender of all time, I guess. That's very interesting. And Longquist, right there as well, up there. So, really good for him. Two really great goaltenders. And another one, too, uh, in the Pekka Rene. There we go. So, we got a bunch of players. Let's see if anybody retired for our team. So, where are we? I, right there, we're right here. Anybody on our team? Doesn't look like it. Uh, yes, go Cam Ward. So Cam Ward was playing the minors. He retired. All right. So we lost Cam Ward, but that's about it. He wasn't important. We we're just playing in the minors. So really disappointing for me. I mean, I'm happy that we made it further than fir uh, one round, but it's disappointing that we lost like that. Um, just the way we lost, I wasn't expecting to really win, really win against the St. Louis Blues because they were kind of the same team as us, but with a way better re regular season uh, record. So I was expecting us to lose, but we were up by two goals at the third period, uh, third period, guys, and somehow we managed to give up five goals somehow in one period. I don't like. We're supposed to be a defensive team. How is that? How does that even happen? You know, I don't even know. Anyways, let's just go to, right into the draft pick. Not wasting any time here. Gonna do as much as possible in this video. It's just annoying, really. Just, just one time. Give me what I want. Just one time. Got like NHL, EA, like somebody. Give me what I want. So we got only one first round pick. Uh, do we have any second round pick? We do. So we can actually move up with this one, which I am going to end up doing. So 
second round. Actually, I'm not. No, I'm not gonna move the second round. I'm not even gonna move it. You know what? I'm just gonna keep it the way it is. So, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. So that's what we can get. Let's go do the trade, guys, shall we? I'm gonna get that for another prospect player. Let's see if we can trade for that. Any rookie goaltenders? I want to keep Sarich. So let's see if we got anything here. I don't want to trade uh, trade any elites just yet. I'm thinking maybe going for something like that. Uh, top nine. I don't think it's gonna go through. I don't think it's enough. Let's just see. No, it's not enough. The top nines are not enough. So might as well just look for something better, which obviously is gonna be the medium top six probably. So let's just see right here. That should be enough. It's not enough. What? What even is this? Okay, so we got to give them something more. We got to give them a top six. I'm not going higher than this. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. So, moved up right there. So, obviously, we moved up. So, we're now in 18th position. Just a little bit upper. Nothing too shabby. So, one, two, three, four, five. Five. We can move up to the 28th pick, I guess, with this uh, second round pick that we've got right there. Let's see what we got, yes. Second round pick. We do, we do have another second round anyways, so we might as well keep that one and trade this one. So there we go. We're going to do that, and we don't have... That's the advantage right there. We can probably trade that, uh, trade uh, a f like a low top 6 D-man with that. And get what we want. There we go. Now we do have two draft picks now. Which means we can use both these draft picks to move up. All the way to 8th position. I'm not entirely sure if that's going to work out. But let's try it out guys. So let's try to do that trade up. These two draft picks for this one. For the 8th overall. Not, uh, not enough. Okay so... Hmm, we're gonna just have to give up a little bit more, maybe just like a rookie skater, a top nine or something, just to make it go through. So let's say this guy right here, not enough, really now. What? Okay, how about this guy then? Yeah, how about this guy? Is it enough? No, it's not, okay. Well, now you're starting to piss me off though. Now you're starting to worry me, my guy. Uh, how about, um, we don't have anybody, really, really don't. The first overall has been picked. Uh, Puninovs, I guess. Do you want Puninovs instead? Like, like, honestly. No, he doesn't want to. All right. So, you know what? Uh, it's not enough. We can move, probably move up to the ninth pick, though, with that, with those two round picks. So let's try it out guys, let's try to move up to the first first one, so the, the ninth, uh, ninth one, there we go, that should go through right there, there we go, we are all the way up to the ninth pick, I think that should be enough in my book, should be way enough, we're gonna keep it the way it is, so the first overall is Budgerus, right wing sniper, 82 overall, these late draft picks, boys, these late picks are really good or kind of OP when you think about it. They're all, they are all OP. want to get my hands on that so it can help us out tremendously. There we go. Kind of a bust for uh, Detroit when you think about it because there was an 81 just before that. Okay. So let's see what we got. Doesn't look like we scouted for the 9th and the 10th pick, which is a shame, really. Um, don't have anything on him. I do have something on this guy though. Uh, yeah, I do have pretty decent stats. 35 points. He looks good. He does look good. Uh, but I'm not sure, like, we don't know if he's an actual elite or not. That's the, pros uh, the problem right there. We do have a couple of medium elites right here, which they're in range of my draft. So, uh, of my pick. So we're just gonna take a chance right here. We're gonna take the not gonna take these these guys up because we know that we can get them already. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go for the ninth pick that they say he is. So ninth pick or tenth pick. 
Neither one of these two guys. This guy is, is 17 years of age. This guy is a 17 years of age, but we don't know what he is. We don't know anything about him. He doesn't look spectacular at all. So let's just put Serge Roy, uh, which is a, a Frenchman, which is really good. So let's just pick him up. If he's a bust, he's a bust, I guess. I don't. I'm not entirely sure what he's going to end up being, guys. But he's got some really decent stats. Medium top 664 overall. Let's see what we missed on. So, there's another medium top 6 right there. So, nothing. We didn't miss out on too much. He's actually a two-way forward, our player. So, that was 65 overall. Just one overall more is a medium top 4. So, it's kind of the same player when you think about it. Defensive defenseman, though. Not interested. Anything else? Doesn't look... Actually, I think we did a, a good pick. We had a good pick, guys, because it doesn't look like we had any other uh, good, great options right there at our disposal. So now that we got all of that, I'm definitely going to go for these players right here. Uh, this player in particular, which is 68 overall. All right, that uh, they say he should be, go be going. Any low elites? This one's still going to be a low elite for sure. So, 94th position. I think that's it, guys. My voice is breaking for some reason. So, Darren Ott. This guy. We're going to pick this guy up, guys. Uh, definitely a medium elite. So, we already know that. Never, not going to have the best the best things. Actually, he's nine years, 19 years of age. That's kind of interesting that nobody picked him up last year then. Alright, let's just pick him up, guys. Pick him up. See what we can do with him. So 60, 56 overall. That's why they didn't pick him up. Because of his low low percentage. Low overall. I mean it's a good. Uh, we're going to be able to like trade that thing. He's not going to be able to play with us. I don't think he's going to play ever with us guys. Uh, in the 50s. Whenever a player is in the 50s. That just means that. He's not going to play with us. Like he's not going to have. Good enough stats for to play with us. A uh, lower lead, that's not good enough. We don't have anybody else, so let's just go for the guarantees, guys. I want the guaranteed. So the next guaranteed was pretty much a low elite, which uh, is Kovalev. 20 years of age, though. Like at 20 years of age, I would expect much better from them. So I'm just going to pick up this guy, which is another guaranteed. Um, he's from the Liga, all right? So let's just see what he is. Another medium elite, 48 years of age. All these players that are 40s, 50s, they're great trade aspects, boys. Great, great trade aspects for us that we can basically get in exchange for a bunch of stuff. So there's another medium elite I'm telling you right now, guys. There we go. Three medium elites. I'm happy with what we got. All 40s and 50s, but they're all elites, medium elites. So all great trade assets that we can get. In exchange for them, we can get uh, players that are really great right now. You know, that play really great. So, anybody else that could be a second. Yeah, I guess we do. We do have these guys. We can take a chance on these guys. But there's a medium top six guaranteed right there. So, I want to pick this guy up first. He's 19 years of age. Forget it then. I'm not picking him up. Not picking him up. Uh, okay, these guys either. They're not. Okay, so... I want to pick guys that uh, people that actually are good, you know, that are not old. So this guy is right there, I think, could be one of these two, I guess, anyone. I guess I'm going to pick this guy up since he's right before, right after. So low top nine is fine by me. There we go. Let's see what we got right here, guys. Other options. Do we have anything here that could seem interesting for us? I don't think so. Kobanov is garbage. This guy might be something. Sniper. We never know. He might end up being something. So you know what? Let's take a chance on this guy, I guess. 43 points. Uh, 63. Yeah, he could be good enough. I mean, I'm not entirely sure. What about this guy right here? No, 19 years of age. No, all right. So no, definitely. I don't think... I don't think uh, we have too many options right here. I want to pick the best options possible right here, guys. But I don't know. Doesn't seem like uh, 
there's really that much of of good chances here to pick up somebody that's really good. What about this guy? It's a low lead. They say, but he's trending down, so I'm not trusting that. Anything that's trending down is not good. So what about any of these guys? What about this guy? He's a defensive defenseman. He might be a low lead, guys. He might be a low lead. Defensive defenseman so far. All the way. It's a, top, uh, it's a low top six, but sometimes these type of players... Are better than uh, other players so you never know uh, anybody else let's see what we got so low elite I want to I'm looking for something that could be trending up so this guy is kind of the same kind of the same but I don't know 20 years of age nope I'm looking for someone that uh, might be of age so this one is trending up medium elite Trending up, but his stats are kind of not good, so not pick him up. Uh, anybody else? No, doesn't look like I'm looking for the age right there, guys. This guy's trending down, so nope. This guy's trending up. He's got some pretty good stats, so let's pick him up. There we go. Let's uh, get this guy up. Uh, top 9, low top 9. There we go. Anybody else? We got a lot of uh, draft picks this year, guys. A lot of draft, uh, draft picks. All right, so... Yeah, we got, we've got a lot of medium top nines, uh, uh, low top nines and stuff. So right now I want to get better draft picks. I'm just going to get the medium top six while I'm at it. I guess even though he's nine, uh, 19 years of age, I'm going to I'm gonna pick him up because I want to get the better, like the better trades overall to just be able to move out eventually, you know, in the eventual future drafts. This guy is going to be a low top six. Almost guaranteed. He's a low top 9 then. A lot of low top 9s that we picked up this year. Anybody else? Come on. Last pick, guys. We're going to pick. Who could it be? I don't know. I don't know. Who could we uh, pick up? Do we have any low tops? We got uh, guarantees. But how about this guy? Or how about the goaltender? This goaltender is pretty garbage. I'm not going to pick him up. Uh, what about this guy right here? He could be good, so I guess we're going to take a chance on this guy. There we go. Medium top, bottom six is our worst pick so far. It's the last one too, so it doesn't matter. I'm overall really uh, really happy about what we got. We got a bunch of low elites. We got medium elites, three medium elites in total, so that's really good for us. Oh, I got a lot of scouts that I got to resign, so I'm going to resign the scouts Do the... Um, the contracts as well, so just give me a moment guys, I'll see you once all of that is done. Here goes nothing, here goes the players that are going to resign with us. These are our agents right there, there you go. Oh, Yakupov doesn't want to come back, what? He, he told me he wanted to come back and now he doesn't want to. Anyways, alright, so we're just gonna, I guess we gotta go back to the contract. The biggest player we, got, we had to get rid of was Ovi, he didn't want to come back anyways. So it didn't change too much. On that perspective, uh, where is Yakupov? He's right there. So we got to give him a little bit more. How much does he need, really? I offered him this contract. It's a two-way contract. You know what? He's not worth it. We're just going to find somebody else. If he doesn't want to come back, I'll just find somebody else. There we go. So let's just send to free agency, guys. We got everyone we needed. Um, now... What I need right now looks like it's going to be uh, a, a centerman, first line centerman, whatever, a top centerman. Uh, we need that for sure. All right, the best centerman we can possibly get. We also need a left winger for the third line, a third line possibly. All right, and the best options because we want to make sure that Lume and our other player, which is Walters, both of these young prospects do play on their positions or like grow a lot we also need a, de a demon which possibly a top four would help us out and a, a goalie for the miners as well and we also now need someone for the miners for a right wing so a right winger for the miners as well let's just see what we got i'm not looking i'm not looking sediment oh my god well for yeah we got our first liner guys we got our first sediment we just we're gonna get the f the best player of the league this is literally the best player of the league. They got rid of him. Are you serious? The guy that made 102 points last year. 
best player of the league. The Jets are just going to get rid of him. Give it to us freely like that. Well, McKinnon, welcome to the Seattle Krakens, my guy. You're going to play with Lafreniere and Kucherov. What a goddamn team this is going to be. He, I'm, yeah, I'm paying him big time. 14 million right there. There we go. Best player of the league, guys. I'm giving all the money he wants. Seven years. That's going to put him for age of 37 though but he is an elite so i don't think that's too much seven years is kind of a lot for 27 years old uh yeah i you know what let's try for better less years six years would put him at um 33 so five years would put him at 32 let's put him for five years guys and we're going to give him that right there. All right. Five years, 14 million. I think that's what you should get, buddy. You should sign up with us right away. All right. Five years because I know at 33 years of age, this is when they start dropping. Okay. So left wing. We got our, we got our, we got it, guys. We got it. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is the year, guys. This is the year. I'm telling you, Connor, the Jets basically got rid of all their players. They got rid of all their players. Cal Connor. Oh my God. 88 overall. Medium elite. This guy doesn't do too many points though. Two way forward. But look at this. I mean, he's going to be 90 overall probably when once we finish signing him. Oh my God. This... This is just great. It's either we pick him or we're picking somebody like this right here in the third line position. You know what? I'm going for the best options right here. I want to make it to the playoffs. I want to have the best players available in front of me. Fuck that, man. He's 26 years of age too, so we can always pick him up anyways. So a lot of players want him. So I am going to have to sign him. Five years. 26, uh, that's 31, that's fine by me. Yeah, he's going to be 21 years of age. Going to pay him 8 million, yes, for this guy. There we go. Uh, we need a deem right wing. We do need a right wing for the positioning of, let's just see really quick, uh, a right wing for the miners. So let's pick uh, somebody up right here. That could be good enough. So this guy, Brock Nelson, I think he could be good enough. Uh, yeah, let's pick him. Let's pick him up. I guess there we go. Nobody's gonna want him. So let's just pick him up anyways demon now Okay, so it's not the same thing for demon. There's no top twos or anything. I was about to say man. This is gonna be crazy so clef bomb Clef bomb right here. We do have him. So I guess uh, We don't have him. We're gonna pick him up This is gonna be a great player to have on our on our team two-way defenseman Let's just pick him up, guys. We're going to have to pay him a little bit. Uh, that's uh, four years. It's going to pick him at 32 years of age. I'm going to... I want him for two years... Uh, three years. And uh, for 6.85 million. All right. This is one I want him for. There we go. Big time contract for you, buddy. And a goalie for the miners. And goalies, no, nothing spectacular. So, all right. Miners, so miners, miners, who should we pick? I guess anybody really, right? I'm just going to pick the best option, uh, Koro, I guess. I'm just going to pick him up. There I go. And that's our goal. That's going to be our team this year, looks like, guys. Oh, my God. I can't believe how many, like, Kyle Connor and McKinnon. Imagine if they both accept our offers, our team... I don't know how we're gonna lose in the playoffs or anything. I don't know how we're gonna manage to lose at all. Koro, Nilsson, both are there. Let's see if the two big players are in our team, guys. We got Kyle Connor and we got McKinnon and we got Clefbaum. We got everybody. Our team is gonna be unstoppable. Telling you already right now, our team, unbelievably unstoppable this year. I don't know who's gonna stop us. Who's gonna do it? Nobody. All right, let's just go, guys. I, I want to see what our team is going to look like in the actual season. 
Okay, boys, so this is what our team is going to look like so far. We do need to make a trade, though, because we got one too many players for our team. We got a too much of a jam-packed team. So as you can see, our first line, uh, our first three lines are going to stay the, st uh, stay the same. So it's going to be for the first line, Lafrenia with Mekin uh, Mekinen and Kucherov. One hell of a lineup, guys. It's one hell of a lineup. As you can see too, it's going to work out because it's a sniper, playmaker, and a two-way forward together. Lafrenia is going to have the time of his year. He's going to have the best career, uh, best season of his career for sure, guys, with these two guys. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Kyle Connor is going to play on the second line with Tyler Johnson and Yemenen. Now, we don't have a solid third liner, uh, second liner for the centerman position. We could give him Victor Ras, which was pretty good last year. But the thing is, we needed something better because, uh, well, Kyle Connor is already a two-way forward, all right? And we already have a playmaker in Niemenen. So Niemenen is already a playmaker. We needed somebody who was either a uh, two-way forward or a sniper. Uh, we don't, you, the one thing you don't want to have is two snipers or two playmaker playing together. It was working for the two snipers for Kucherov and Ovi for a time. But uh, you don't want it to stick for, for with that for too long because it usually doesn't work out too much. He's a second liner as well, so we can always keep him right where he is. Oh, and yeah, that's not what I wanted to do. So this is where we're going to pick him up. He's 33 years of age. We might move him up eventually, though. Move him down. Uh, these two are two. Both of them are playmakers. All right. So I'm putting basically Victor Rask in the third line because he's way better. So Victor Rask with Lume and Waters. Waters is a left winger, but he's ready to be playing on the third line. He's 80 overall, so I need to play him on the third line, guys, with Lume. Uh, so basically, it's a sniper, playmaker, and a two-way forward. All these lineups, all are pretty great. The, the first and third lineup, really great. Third li uh, Second line could be better with the center position. But um, we'll do with what we have, I guess. It's going to do just fine, all right? It's going to do just fine, guys. And we've got Ala. Now, if we, ni we need to trade Ala and sure back in a minute. I'll see it, tell you what guy is why. Because we're playing Victor Rask. Uh, J no, Jesper Fast in the f fourth line. He's a third liner. We're playing him. He's a playmaker. Playing with a two-way forward in Novikov. Novikov, which is a player that was in the AHL. He's ready to play for us right now this year. It's a fourth liner. And he's a two-way forward. So, playmaker with a two-way forward. We need another two-way forward or a sniper. Something like that. and Which we don't have. It's only a playmaker for Eric Ala. So, Ala, we need to get rid of him. And uh, I couldn't. I can't play Sherback. He's a second liner. And I want him to play in this position or something along these lines. He can't just be playing on the fourth line, you know. That would be garbage for him. So we need to trade him and Ala for something better, I guess. For a fourth liner or a third liner. A third liner, basically, that can play in the fourth line. And probably, like, uh, do a lot of things. Like a sniper or a two or four. Something that could, uh, it's going to help out. We also got Riley. With Klimberg, we're gonna we don't have a choice. I tried to change the lineups, but it wasn't working out the way stats were. So Riley and Klimberg playing together, uh, uh, Darlene and Klefbaum uh, as well, and the third uh, duo is gonna be Yekimov and Afanasenkov. All bunch of elite players, by uh, go, boys. I'm telling you right now. And the goaltender Redden is now our our starting goaltender. He's 85 overall. He grew up by five overall total in one year. Uh, in one regular season, off season, so that's really great for us. And we also got uh, Philip Grabauer. He's gonna be our backup now. Uh, for unfortunately for him, he's gonna be our backup. He was a good, decent starter, but now we got much better players. So captain, it looks like it's Darlene. I'm fine with what they did with that. So done. We're gonna make the trade right away. Not gonna waste any time. All right, we're making the trade for all and stuff. Let's see who can get in exchange for really anybody. So I'm not entirely sure who won the cup again. I'm not sure, guys, but let's just see what we can get out of Allah and Sherback. All right, so let's just get this guy. 
and get uh, as well where is um, where is he sure back was he not a right winger oh yes he is right there there we go so both have decent amount of uh, stuff uh, of value so that's really good for us I guess Arizona Coyotes. We're gonna go one team at a time. See who's got the best options. So we were looking for a centerman, third liner, guys. Third liner centerman uh, that can play for us. That uh, could play in the fourth line. So this is a second liner. We're looking for some something like that. Third liner. Uh, I guess this guy Kara. Can he play? He's a grinder. All right, so grinder could be good for us, I guess, a grinder, but I'm looking for something that's, somebody that has a lot of talent right there. Uh, uh, there's a two way forward, but I'm looking for a sniper. Is there not any snipers that we can basically pick up or something? Power forward would uh, do the job as well. Could do the job, it's much better than playing a grinder for sure. I'm looking for a sniper though, definitely. Um, we don't have anything like that. That's a third liner as well. He's going to grow a lot though. No, all right. So we don't have anybody for the Coyotes. Let's just see a team that uh, wants them both. Basically, I'm looking for first off. So the Zingle could be one of them. Let's see two way forward as well. So already it's not as good as the previous ones. So we can't pick uh, this guy up. Anybody else? Let's see what we got. We got... Backlund, maybe Backlund. Yeah, he could uh, he could, but he's getting old though. No, it's two way forward, power forward, and Bukestad. Bukestad could be really good for us. You know what? Let, yeah, I'll I'll pick up Bukestad. He's a power forward. I think he will be really good for us in the fourth line position. So Bukestad, and I'll we'll pick up with that. I guess a good uh, a good draft pick. Uh, I don't think the first liner is gonna go through. Is it gonna go through? No. Almost though, almost our first round pick guys, but it's not quite enough. St uh, second round and third round pick uh, should be good. Should be able to get that in exchange. So second and third round pick and Bukestad playing on the fourth line as a third forward liner. Uh, in exchange for Ola and Sherback. Let's see if they're gonna go through. No, so that's too much to ask. Let's see, there we go. Second line instead, uh, second round pick. We don't have, we don't, we're not getting the third round. All right, so Centerman, we are good. Everybody's playing well, all right, we're good. Let's just go to the lineup, switch that up really quick. There we go, and Jan Bukestad. So Bukestad, you're just gonna go there. That's what I like to see. And there we go, guys, we got our third liner. Now he's a two way, he's a power forward actually. So what we might end up doing, could always play uh, Tyler Johnson instead. What do they have, two way forward? Two way forward playmaker. We could always try out a Bukestad actually with these two guys first. If it works out, it works out. And we'll try out um, Johnson. He's a two way forward, so he can definitely play with Novikov and uh, Jesper Fast. So let's try that out. All right, let's try that out the way it is. Oh, actually, he's a second liner now that I think about it. Oh, no, okay, no. I gotta keep it the way it is then. Yeah, the second liner, I gotta keep him there. So this is what it looks like guys. This is our team this year. This is our team th th this year. Unless there's something bad that happens or something I need to change. It looks like this is going to be the team. One hell of a team. I'm telling you. I don't know how. Like One hell of a depth team. We're probably missing one or two players. Well, one player more than that could play on the center position. Our center position is kind of weak at the set uh, for the second line. But uh, it's going well with Connor and Nieminen. Uh, it's uh, going well with that. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to see you guys for the next one. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. Keep it easy.